Barud, I've been waiting for you for so long. Chef, yeah. chef, 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 it's not my fault. When I came in, my wife was not feeling well. She's oh. in there, she's, she had some slight headache. Have you got some medicine for her? Yeah, I've given her some medicine. You just stay there, let me. And it's big there? Yeah. Yeah, Vic is attending to her. So let's go and um, let's pay for the car. Let's because the uh, car is waiting for Vic, can you give my wife some water for me? Yes, we are going to pay for the car. Chef, let's go. Vicky, I'm coming up here. calm his nerves down, please. Okay? It's the way you acted with him on bed. You seem to be enjoying it. No, I wasn't. I was. I just did something. I created something myself, but I wasn't enjoying it. Really? Well, but hey, your husband is good. Better than yours? Yes, because uh, my husband has never taken me to the climax. Yes, but your husband did. But Jeff never. How Rudy. is that? You sure? Yes, he did. Rudy has never taken me to the climax too. Really? Then what is going on? I don't know. But what's wrong with me? Why is it that way? Hmm, there must be something wrong somewhere. Because our husbands push us off any time we go with them, with them. We go to bed with them and then it's like, you know what dear, we'll find a solution to this. Yes? But then why are you married to them? That is the question. Hmm. we find a solution to them. Don't worry. Okay? Don't worry. Okay. 
everything will be fine. Yes, give me a smile. <laughs> I'm sorry if I offended you. Hmm? You know you're my love. Beep, 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 beep. What? Come on. Listen to me. Let's be quick about this. Did you enjoy it? No, I didn't. You lie. You wake again in the morning all throughout. Tell me. Has your husband been able to make him moan and giggle the way I did it? What about you? Did you enjoy it? Oh yes, I did. That is why I want us to do it again and again and again. You are crazy. I'm then serious. Once is not enough. Never and ever again. Listen to me, girl. You have no choice. You did not sleep with my wife. Once. Or several times. So I also have to have my pound of flesh. Not once, but several times. I'm your best friend's wife. For Cut that off. You knew that. But you jumped into bed with my wife. Listen to me. Anytime I give you a call and I say abracadabra, it means we have an appointment which you can never afford to lose. Say abracadabra. Get off. I'm bought. <laughs> <laughs> Abracadabra! <laughs> Abracadabra! Hi, darling. Y yes, yes, I'm okay. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. And you? All right. Uh, oh, I'm at um, Rudy's place. You picking me up? All right. Then uh, I'll see you later. Then. <laughs> I love you, sweetheart. Thank you. Bye. of me. Will you give me a break? No, someone is knocking at my door. Please, I'm not even interested. Come and see me. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Come and see me. He, with my girlfriend and all muscles, please. I'll call you back later. I'll call you later. I'll call you to my house. Yes. All right. Take care. I'm what going crazy. I'm really going crazy. I can't take this anymore. I don't want to end up at a mental home. Come on. Let's sit down. Okay? 
I have a plan. There is this guy I know. Yeah. He is a secret agent who works for an undercover agency. And I want to see him. For what? To tell him about our predicament. Yes. At least maybe he might help us. Who knows? He might help us. About Rudy? Yes. Well, let's just, I mean, see him first and let's weigh his options.